I'm George Cleveland. I'm from Tamworth, New Hampshire, um, and I'm Grover's grandson. A lot of people think as Grover is just kind of a really dry, boring guy, but he apparently had a really good sense of humor. You know, Grover was a very avid hunter and fisherman. He would much rather he wrote a book about it. He would much rather have been doing that than anything else. So they were having a dinner in Princeton, and before the dinner, my grandmother goes to my grandfather and said, "Can we please get through dinner without having to bring up guns?" And he said, "I promise that I won't bring up guns unless somebody else does." She said, "Thank you very much." So she leaves. He goes and finds the butler, hands him a shotgun, and said, "Okay, 45 minutes after dinner." fire this off out the back door. So they're having a pleasant dinner and suddenly there's this kablam. Grover goes, oh, well, speaking of guns, <laughs> he was, um, he w seems to have been a real workaholic. He also had, um, he was a tremendous man of faith. His faith was very important to him. And um, he loved children, he loved animals. Um, you know, he seemed like a really kind of good guy, but um, you know, he was a rough and tumble guy because when he, was, was in political office in New York. You know, he's the only president that ever executed two people. I think when he was, um, sh no, sheriff of Erie County. And um, then when he was mayor, he was pretty tough. You know, he's, a lot of people feel if he were alive today, this is always a little too hypothetical, but um, he's become kind of a darling of libertarians because so much of what he stood for uh, coincides with libertarian thinking of less government and spending less money. Um, you know, you could sure use them now.